Hello my prison mates, I am back again with the prison boys and we have now getting tested on the screen just as before. I know the video was a little bit short last time but I'm gonna make try to make it longer. This video longer actually. And uh, we just met Sazu uh, Kusama, I think that's his name. But he was executed sadly and we can't revive him like we did with Naya. You can't revive Naya. We're sorry. But it is actually a nice story. This actually is a beautiful novel. And I wish it was a manga. I wish it was an anime. It would be pretty, pretty, pretty good as an anime. I mean, I it's a pretty good anime adaptation to, like, you know, say, Hey, we brought this, this, and then they would be, it would be on Kiss Anime in English dub. It would be awesome, though. It would be awesome, like, a nice story and like it would be great as a manga and stuff like that i mean it would be great as an anime adaptation and stuff like that so let's just get in with the story and i'm sorry for talking about anime but this is also an anime game Sazu was put on the rack and executed what it caused my eyes to open why we met him last night i have no idea it's too sudden. I thought he would be safe a little while longer, even if it was a trap. They did it too quickly. I stood in a trance. Nagi got closer to me. We need to check if it's true. Yeah. I'm going to ask Nagi first. So what do we ask Nagi first about again? Uh, da -da 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 -da. That sounds okay. Sazu. Saizu, why? But there must be a catch. It's too quick. Yeah, I agree. Uh... Say, do you think this is related to Naya? It's quite possible. They silenced him. Maybe. Naya's death. Saizu's education. Execution. I wonder what they are trying to cover up. I unfolded the picture of the herb that Sazu gave to me. Nagi looked at the picture and tilted his head to the side. I feel like I've seen this herb, this herb somewhere. Yeah. The picture of the herb. Oh, this is hard. I think I'm gonna agree with Nagi. Right there. I've been feeling the same. I'm sure we've seen it before, but I can't remember where. The shape of this herb. Hmm. Yes, I've seen this, this somewhere before. If I could see it again, I remember. Hmm. It's on the tip of my tongue, though. Nagi raked his hands through his hair in frustration. We can't get nowhere talking, just two of us. Let's change the location. Yeah, let's ask someone for information somewhere other than the other TOKQH officers would be. Okay, so we're gonna move now. <laughs> okay, we got to the cafeteria. When we get to the cafeteria, lots of two key officers were having their breakfast. Mitsuru was not here. Mitsuru wasn't in the cafeteria. We talked to another senior colleague. Good morning. Well, is it true that the man called Kusama was executed? Yes. Hey, good morning, Tetsu. Nagi. Yeah, apparently it's true. It's pretty rare, right? He got arrested yesterday. And has already and has already executed. Yeah, but why? I heard that he was an executive of vi vicious organization. I saw him. I saw him at the entrance hall yesterday. But you can't judge a book by its cover. He looked weak. He might be the executive. Ex. Executive. 
I don't know how to pronounce that word. I forgot the word. Executive. That's what it is. Um, Yo Yoza Kurakiri. Yoza Kurakiri? Oh, you don't know? Listen to this. He whispered it out in our ears with a proud face. I don't know if it's true, but I heard of the organi the organization of Yoza Kurakiri has begun to work behind the scenes of the government. What's their purpose? I don't know. What? Although, we are TKUH. We can't get to the heart of the government, right? It's just a rumor. If we knew the details, why are they playing this song? <laughs> if we, like, in this situ serious situation, it's funny, but I, it cracks me up every time. <laughs> Uh, it's just a rumor. If we knew the details, we'd be next. Don't worry, nothing is gonna- nothing is impossible for T-O-K-K-O-H. No matter whether it's Sakura or Apricot, we'll catch them in one fell swoop. He lifted his head and laughed out loud. <laughs> Anyways, we caught a member of evil organization and executed him. They might be arrested one after another, so we'll probably be busy. So some spirit. Okay. Nagi and I nodded at Mitsuru. Who's Mitsuru? The other two KQH officers seemed to be interested in the topic person who was executed immediately. At least stole a few glances at us. Nagi was from my ear. I don't think we should be so bold asking around. Let's go somewhere else. Okay. We left the cafeteria. We didn't have our breakfast, Tetsu. I'm fine. <laughs> we came to the entrance hall. There were two Kyoto officers coming coming and going. We talked to a senior colleague standing by the entrance. Door. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Is it true that the man called Kusasama was executed? Yeah, I heard so. Was there any evidence? This this sudden execution is pretty rare, right? Yeah, it's pretty rare, but... I heard that... That there was... Only evidence of anti-government activities, but also an assassination plan against the Emperor. Ah! Uh, an assassination? Of the Emperor? They judged him as an assassination of the Emperor. A rebel who requires immediate execution. Oh no! What happened? Are you alright? No, I'm okay. Thank you for talking. I know. That was a credit to Yamato and Kuji. We gotta carry on at, at work as well. The senior colleague stepped out of the entrance. An assassination of the Emperor? No way. Seems like a perfect trap to set him up as a rebel. Who called it? It's totally crazy. You yourselves are crazy. Who's that? Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> You yourselves are crazy. Oh. When we looked back, oh, it's Yamato. Yamato was standing there. To execute a rebel is our first priority of our missions. Yamato, do you disagree with that? What makes you so unsatisfied? Maybe you two were friends with that rebel. No! I doubt it. You're protected by a noble family and have lived at ease. I know you don't have a firm resolve. You don't deserve to work at Tolstory Prison because you don't have a spirit of loyalty. Spineless wimps like both of you will become pussies of the organization and will be a huge corruption. If you have something against me, just say it. Don't act like a mouse. Yamato spat out. 
What? Like it was about to explode, but I put him my hand over his mouth, and then I st stared at Yamato with sharp eyes. <sighs> Sissies. Yamato said and walked off. Then I finally released Nagi. Tetsu, why did you stop me? Why did you s let him say what he wants? We don't have anything we can use for the fight to find him now. Until we gain the perfect evidence, we shouldn't move. But if we get caught and, and executed, who can avenge the murder of Naoya? Huh? Got it. The story that Sazu told us last night was an important clue. The reason of Naya's death and the herb Naya asked Sazu to examine were definitely connected. Tolstoy Prison is always under the eye of TOKQH. We decided to go outside for some fresh air. <laughs> oh, sorry. We, went to, we came to Sensuji Temple. There was a day to day work world in the streets. Every time I come here, I feel like. Everything that happened in Tolstoy Prison was a lie. Yeah. When we were students, we often came here, right? I feel like we came back to the, into the past. Me too. I wish everything could be just a dream, but this is the reality. Well, that's work for you, Tetsu. Nagi. I mean, I've been told that before a supervisor, but you know, screw that job that I had. Nagi and I walked around Sensuji Temple without saying anything for a while. I saw a familiar back view. I talked to the person. Miss Mozizuki. <laughs> Mr. Saki, Mr. Tetsu. I still can't pronounce his name, his last name. She replied clearly, but her eyes were red. Probably she cried through the night. Yesterday, well, I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Huh? Prepare for my singing, guys. I found the love for oh, me. Darling, just dive right in. In a bottle of my leaves. Okay, there we go. Done. Maybe I'll add some uh, applause in there. We were rude to you yesterday. So we're, we're so sorry for the rude stuff we said. Nagi made a deep bow to her. No. Miss Wazizuki was a little upset, but said to Nagi tenderly, Mr. Saki. Please don't be sorry. You don't have to. I know you have more pay pain than I have because you lost your brother. Nagi kept his head lowered, and Miss Mozizuki reached out to him. Your brother often told me about you. He called you to my beloved brothers. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. I'm crying, guys. I'm crying. I'm crying. Alright. God. That's so sweet, though. Okay. Nagi lifted his head. His eyes were a little red. Mine are, too. Oh god, okay. God. This is gonna be a long episode. I'm incredibly proud of Naoya. Miss Mozizuki smiled. Okay, guys, I think this is gonna be the end of this episode. So, hopefully, we get through six tickets in the next one. I'm not sure, but my heart is filled and my eyes are filled with tears. Uh, that was actually really nice. Of Naya to say to his brothers, my two beloved brothers, it's so sweet. 
and I'm gonna keep crying until I upload this one. So hopefully I don't sound like I've been crying for hours in the next video. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.